to the right and out of play. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Seven runs on 12 hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Really good late bite on that slider right there. How about the it? best ones have that late action that Kendall just starts at the last play. minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that Your good slider play. going, it's a great and strikeout the pitch. Tony Walters will be summoned off the bench Tony here as he'll pinch Walter. hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. Slapped hard the opposite way. Schwarber is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. Digging Colorado. in and looking for more, Raimel Tapia. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Schwarber will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Rockies strand one, and they hold a 7 nothing lead. Ernest Gonzalez comes on to start Colorado. the inning, and he'll have a Number huge 25. lead to work with. Ernest Gonzalez. Jose Iglesias is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1-1. One 1-1 one. One, one pitch is a splitter cold strike, too. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Grounded down the third baseline. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Striding in, Pete Alonso. And this is low ball one. That was a good take right there. Look, double play situation, and this guy's got a nasty split that makes you hit the ground ball. You're probably going to see it. That was a nice job of taking that pitch. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Nobody out, runner on first. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Mike Trout is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 1. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, that's a base now hit right him. there. Now they got two Rock runners on. Fielder. This may be their best opportunity Kyle to get on the board. Schwarber. They've been shut out the whole game. Ready for another chance. Kyle Schwarber and his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. First and second now, one man out. Down low, and the plot thickens here, three and zero. Oh. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than. Oh, hang on. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field as it's now a 7-3 game. They seem to forget that the game started a while ago, but better late than never, I guess. Sometimes one big hit is all it takes to get a team going. We'll see if they can build on it and make a run here. Now Into the box. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. 
That's by him for strike one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Outside with the fastball as the count moves to 2-1 and one now. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. Got him to go down swinging there. Hunter Renfro goes down for out number two in the bottom half. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. In now, Gavin Cicchini. That gets down, and the inning continues. Coming to the First plate now, Tommy LaStella. 0 Tommy for 3 with a La couple Stella. of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. First pitch is a splitter for a called strike. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The next 0-2. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. But the Mets strike for three, all coming courtesy of this three-run home run. On to the ninth inning from City Field. It's the Rockies seven, and the Mets three. Digging in to try it again. Yes, he'll Puig. He'll be charged right, with Taylor. trying to get on board yes, leading off the ninth. Puig. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The first baseman, number 22. So stepping in, Manuel, Manuel Diaz. Diaz. He has no prior history against this pitcher. First pitch coming, here it is. That's lifted the other way out to left. Schwarber sprinting after it, two down. In now, Ralph Kiner. He flew out in his last at bat. Here comes the first pitch. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. And he chased one there as this is bounced to short. Throw in time and the side is retired. Down go the Rockies on a mere four pitches. But they lead it by four. It's seven to three. Digging in. Kevin Ploiecki. No Leading hits in three tries so far. He ninth. struck out once. And that's Kevin. in there for strike Ploiecki. one. Comes set with the 0-1. Smoked on the ground up the middle. That gets through, and he'll start the inning off with a base hit. So with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. That ball's inside and shoots it back up the middle. There are so many hits up the middle. If your game plans to go up the middle, good things can happen. Brandon Nimmo will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number nine, Brandon Nimmo. Carlos Estevez takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Way late on the fastball for strike one. That was a first pitch fastball. He just blew it right by him. You talk about an overcome. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one without a doubt is gone. A two-run blast to straightaway right field, and that lead is trimmed to 7-5 here. Well, that's a big hit. They're running out of time, but they're clearly not going away without a fight. Now you're down two. It gets interesting from here out. Juan 
Ochoa comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Jose Iglesias. Stepping in now, Jose Iglesias. As he sends it on the ground to first, Diaz is right there, and he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. First baseman. Pete now in the box, Alonso. Pete Alonso. Sinker to open the AB in there for strike one. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. One out, nobody on. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. And that's going to be high two and two now. Seems like he's throwing everything at him, the kitchen sink, and he just fouled him off. So he tried to throw something right there and make him chase, and he didn't. So I don't know where he goes from here. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys. So we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of that's making his man over. throw a lot Number of pitches as he tucks out a walk. Shoots this one over to first. Scooped up the second for one on to first but not in time as he beats it out. Now batting left fielder Kyle stepping in Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side two out here in the ninth. And that's in there for a strike. And that misses one and one. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. Swing, and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. And a nice job here to come in and slam the door. That's his first save of the season, but it certainly won't be his last. 7 to 5 how today's comes to an end. So that's it for us this afternoon for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB the Show. For more log on to the shownation.com. The final line score for the ball game this afternoon with the victorious Rockies. Seven runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Mets, five runs, 10 hits, one error. They left eight runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 24 minutes. Our paid attendance this afternoon at City Field. 45,000. The Mets thank you for your continued support and remind you to please drive home safely.